In the morning of October 7, while most of the Israelis were sleeping in their homes, suddenly the air raid sirens began. In a short while, more than 5,000 rockets were fired by Hamas from Gaza Strip targeting Israeli cities. Hamas also sent hundreds of fighters over the border, who broke down the security barriers that surround Gaza with bulldozers. The surprise was not over yet for Israel as hundreds of fighters even flew over on motorized paragliders and landed in the Israel-occupied areas for settlers. Till now, the attack has caused the death of at least 1,500 Israelis, including around 260 at a single music festival. Hamas also says that it has captured more than 100 Israelis, including some senior military officers, while Israel says that several children and elderly women were also taken by Hamas militants. The attack shocked the world and it is considered as the biggest attack by Hamas on Israel. Exactly 50 years ago, in October 1973, Egypt and Syria had launched a similar surprise attack on Israel. After that, a war broke out and known as Yom Kippur War. Due to the severity of this attack, experts and analysts say that the attack cannot be planned by Hamas alone, and Hezbollah in support with Iran has contributed towards this attack. Israel has Iron Dome system, which is one of the best air defense systems in the world. Whenever rockets are fired on Israel, it uses the latest military technology to intercept the rockets and destroy them mid-flight to keep the country protected. But this time, 5,000 rockets were fired within 20 minutes, and the Iron Dawn system failed to defend Israel. It represents the biggest intelligence failure of world's most advanced and active intelligence agency, Mossad. Hamas launched a multi-pronged attack from the ground, sea and air and named it Tufan al-Aqsa. The boundary wall on the Israel-Gaza border was broken down by bulldozers and many civilian and Hamas fighters entered in Israeli territory. In response to this attack, Israel has declared a state of war and has started Operation Iron Sword and vowed an unprecedented response that it plans to wipe out Hamas military capability and end its control on Gaza. Since then, Israel has been hitting hard with airstrikes and artillery. Footage is coming from Palestine shows devastation and bodies being pulled out from the rubble with more than 1,100 innocents being killed, including civilians. Israel is violating all the principles of humanity, bombarding civilian areas, destroyed four mosques, imposed a total siege on Gaza Strip, disconnected electricity and water connections to the area, and have even called 300,000 reserve army as a collective punishment for all the peoples of Palestine. The actions of Israel represents violation of international laws, which has already been objected by United Nations. Let's take a look at the map to understand the context of this situation. Israel and Palestine are located in the Middle East. In the north is the country of Lebanon. In the northeast, there is Syria. In the east, there is Jordan. In the southwest, there is Egypt. And in the west, is the Mediterranean Sea. If you zoom in on both countries, the area in the middle is the country of Israel. And the territories of Palestine are divided in two parts. One of the region is the West Bank, while the other is Gaza Strip. There are many Israeli settlements in the Palestinian territory of the West Bank, and the United Nations and many other countries consider these settlements illegal. If we look at the map of the current conflict in Operation Tufan al-Aqsa, Hamas and Palestinian militants have already infiltrated a large area of Israeli territory. Hamas military commander Mohammed al taif has said, that the Hamas is doing this because Israel has committed atrocities on the Palestinians. According to an article published in the Times of Israel, Egyptian intelligence officials had warned Israel rapidly that something major is about to happen, and allegedly those warnings were ignored. American President Joe Biden has also condemned Hamas' attack and has said that he shows rock-solid and unwearying support in the favor of Israel. European Union also condemned this attack and has also supported Israel's response. 
Some analysts fear that such an attack by Hamas can only be done with the involvement of some big global players. Now question arises whether Russia, Iran and China are behind such an attack to weaken Israel and United States in the time when Ukraine war is still going on or this attack is a false flag operation by Israel and its allied countries to remove Palestine from the face of the earth. Whatever the reality is, innocents are dying and world must sit together to find the solution for Palestine and Ukraine. To know more about the history and background of Ukraine war, check out the video in the link. Subscribe our channel and stay tuned for more upcoming videos.